Welcome everybody to a brand new season of Lord of the Rings Online. This is season 23 and I am going to be going through Central Gondor. For those of you who are new, this is a 100% playthrough of Lord of the Rings Online. So I make sure I do every quest and every deed in a region before moving on to the next. And I go through a pretty big process to make sure that's actually the case. I go through the game data and I make sure that all the quests are done. But that's enough of that. Before we get going, I do have a few housekeeping things and I know I hate that kind of stuff, but I gotta say a few things. Number one, this is the first season that I am recording, rendering, and uploading in 4K definition. So that's gonna be a big upgrade for you guys. If your internet is able to handle it, make sure you watch this in 4K. I've been recording in 1080p for the longest time and the video files look great for me, but whenever I upload them to YouTube, it gets compressed and it looks really blurry and it just doesn't look good. So I'm hoping that by recording in 4K, it's going to be better. It's a lot more work for me. It's harder to deal with these large video sizes. The editing takes longer. The rendering takes longer. The uploading takes longer. So I hope you appreciate the effort and I hope it makes a difference for you. Let me know how you like it. And the number two housekeeping thing is please subscribe to the channel. I've come to realize by looking at my analytics that 75% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed, which kind of took me aback a little bit. I try not to shill too much, but I am focused on growth this year. I really want to grow my channel. I'm a little bit vain. I like seeing those numbers go up. It makes me feel nice, okay? And it motivates me. So it doesn't cost you anything. Hit the subscribe button and I'll continue to bring you content. If it's your first video of mine that you're watching, welcome in. I hope you have fun and enjoy it. But if it's like your fourth, fifth video that you're watching, you really should hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me and it doesn't cost you anything. So that's enough rambling. Let's get going here. I guess the other thing I would mention is that I did do a lot of test recordings with the 4K definition to make sure everything is going to be okay on my end. I'm not going to have any issues, but I'm going to keep a very close side this season. And if I start dropping frames and it starts getting nasty, then I might have to go back to 1080p, but hopefully that's not the case. And actually, let me pull up my quest here in Central Gondor. And I think the Epic as well. So we are going... Where are we going? We're going to that first little town. I don't know why it took me so long to th even think about recording in 4K. I just always thought that maybe my computer wouldn't be good enough. My computer is very nice. I got it right before I did the Moria season. So I don't even know how many years ago that was. Maybe six years. And while I did go all out at... Um, I did go all out on the computer at the time. It is starting to show its age a little bit. A little bit. Alright, here we go. I don't know why I dismounted here, but let me talk to this guy. The sun never rose this morning. Some evil has been unleashed. You have the look of an adventurer. Have you ever seen anything like this before? The sun never rose this morning. Some evil has been unleashed upon us. Is this some sorcery? Do our foes have the power to blanket the skies in shadow? How can we hope to fight against such evils, even with such strong men as Prince Immerhill taking up the sword? The continuing night has caused the orcs to grow more bold, and they have come down out of the mountains after a respite of many years. If you truly are an adventurer, you would do a great service to my people by slaying those creatures and driving them back into the mountains. Look for the vile creatures northeast of town. You could also use a supply of sustainable tinder. If the darkness does not abate soon, we will need to keep torches lit. The dawnless day, huh? There's going to be a lot of quest rings here. Let me start picking up a lot of these quests. This darkness is a weight on my mind. You look as if you have traveled long this day, Warden. I hope your wits are still about you. I have learned of your valor in the West, but dark times have come to our lands. We awoke to a dawnless day and found ourselves overrun by foes. If you seek to aid us at the Lady's command, you both have chosen a fortuitous time. There's not but ill omens these days. White Mountain Orcs patrol the Vale. Ethering is a small village without the means to defend against large-scale attacks. The Orcs will flee if their numbers dwindle. Defeating these vile creatures may help secure the safety of the town. So this is interesting. This bounty can only be completed a maximum of three times. I don't know if I've come across a quest yet 
that's repeatable, but with a max number of times you can repeat it. Interesting. This darkness is a weight on my mind. If you have a moment to spare, I must ask you for help in these dark times. Three days ago, a man from the north came through this town with an army of warriors and ghosts. If you do not believe me, I understand, but I assure you, I speak the truth. You say you know of this man, and his name is Aragorn, son of Arathorn. Yes, I think I recall someone saying that name. I did not know this man, but many in town did or were persuaded by his words and joined him in his eastern march. He took many, and the rest stayed in their homes out of fear. After this frightful army of men and dead left the Vale, the sky grew dark, and rumors spread of trolls lurking in the woods. Three days have passed, and many still say they've seen the dead wandering through the trees. Borhador, the Lord of the Vale, rests in his hall. Much has left his realm in these recent days, including his hope. Perhaps an outsider such as yourself, spending some time in the Vale, you will give Barahor, Borhador strength to lead his people again. This darkness is a weight on my mind. Good adventurer, what, what brings you to Ringlow on this dreadful day? You explained that Lothriel sent you east based upon word of war that has come to the shores. This is true. I saw the smoke rise out of Dor er and Ermnil on top of the beacon of Elendoth. The war has not yet reached our doorstep. Ethring would benefit greatly from your help. As you can see, there are very few townsfolk around. Many have gone to war and the remaining keep indoors out of fear for the sun has not risen. There are orcs in the woods who came down from the White Mountains as the sky grew dark. They have burned our lumber camps and may attack Ethring at any moment. The Lord of the Vale's son, Arvathor, has taken to the woods in hope of driving back the orcish force. Arvathor's, Arvathor is a fine warrior and would be needed should the conflict in Dor and Ernil reach us. Will you find and aid Arvathor for Earthring? And lots of names to pronounce here. I try my best, but you know, I'm not not very good at that kind of stuff. Corsairs, strange armies, now darkened skies. Greetings, traveler. I have need of your assistance if you can spare some time. We have not received many travelers these last few days since the army marched through. They took many of our best men. Those that remain hide in fear from the darkened skies and the ghost stories of blue lights in the woods at night. With this, I am doing what I can to provide Ethering with the defense and supplies it needs, but remain short-handed. If you are able, I could use assistance in catching fish from the nets down by the river. Okay. And let me open up the stable here so I can fast travel. These are troublesome times indeed. Very good. And it looks like there's another quest ring in here. I do not ask much of you. My good adventuring friend, I am much too busy enjoying this tavern right now to adventure with you, but might have but might you have some time to listen to my request? Some men that were under Hebel's command have captured the beacon between Lemedon and this fine wooded vale. I'm sure that they are up right now thinking that they are the best Corsairs in all of Gondor, but you and I know that they are just idiots. Look, my friend, go up there and rough them up for me, will you? Wipe the smiles off their faces. Take back the beacon if you want as well. I do not understand Gondorians, but you seem to like them. Well, back to my pint. I'll see you again when you're done. Oh, that's, uh, Jjox. Yeah, that's our friend from the previous season. Didn't even realize, at least initially, I didn't read the name. I generally don't look at the character names, but maybe I should start paying a little bit more attention. Okay, so where am I going now? I guess I can start doing some of the quests. Looks like there's an internal quest here. Will we ever see the sun again? I have nothing to say to you, stranger. Leave me be, for my days are numbered. Will we ever see the sun again? You are still here? I do not seek your counsel, hobbit. Look upon my weary face. Do you see a leader perched over this veil, or a tired man? They call me Borhador, the old. My own people. My time to step down from lordship was taken from me when my eldest son, 
Dervarin answer the call of the beacons. Now I dwell in limbo waiting for my son's return or death from the monsters lurking in the shadow. Does hope even exist? Now be gone from my sight. Perhaps Borhador needs some tangible signs of hope to lift his spirits in these dark times. Alright, so I need to collect signs of hope. And what is going on here? I got a deed for quests in the Ringlow Vale. Okay. Uh, let me just kind of go towards the quest rings on the minimap. There's a lot of things I need to be doing. The chickens are still productive, laying eggs for the village. I guess that's hopeful. Uh, trying to find out what the most efficient way for me to do all this is going to be. Dang it. It was on that side all along. The banner holds the prosperous symbol of the veil, a gold trout on blue field. Yeah, my computer is working pretty hard for this 4K recording. You can probably hear a little faint blowing sound in the background whenever I'm talking. That's my computer's fans just going overdrive. Whenever I'm not talking, it doesn't record any audio from my microphone. It has like a threshold. But whenever I'm talking, you can probably hear a little bit of background noise. If it's too obnoxious, let me know. This mountain flower blossoms even without sun. So what is this... Uh What's in here? Book 2, Chapter 4. I guess that's to kill orcs, but there aren't any here, so I'm not going to bother in this area. Let me just bring these signs back. This morning to no sun, no light of day. What is the meaning of this? These things are meant to cheer me up. This is foolishness. It is not a simple matter of warming prosperity in my veil. Hmm. But perhaps it could be useful as I admire your persistence. In some ways, you remind me of my wife, Howwin. Rest her soul. She loved this veil until her death. We woke this morning to no sun, no light of day. When my son, Dervarin, answered the call in my stead, I promised to keep the beacon of Elendoth burning bright in his absence. The beacon's light signifies my son's safe return. I fear the darkness that swept over the land is choking the beacon's flame. The air we breathe is growing stale. If the flame falls, surely we are next. The beacon has been slowly waning. I see it dim with each passing day. Will you tend to the beacon? I will be grateful if you are able to restore its light to its former brilliance that I remember. I assure you, Etherin could use the light in this hour. Okay, so... I kind of want to go that way. Looks like there's... Orcs and quest rings. Let me get on the war steed. Make it a little faster. I'm about to level up to 108. That's going to be nice. Let's see. There he is. This darkness is a weight on my mind. Hail, traveler, what brings you this way? I see. You bring word from Kandur. Then surely you've heard of Ethering's troubles. 
I could use the company as I patrol these woods. The shadowy, the shadows play tricks even on the mind in this bleak hour. There's not but ill omens these days. Let us take back the veil and push these orcs into the mountains from whence they came. No longer will they pillage our trees and defile our waters. Nice. So it looks like I did get a class point for leveling up, so let me use that. Still running this yellow line. Now I don't even know what to put this on. I don't use a lot of these skills, so... Plus 1% critical chance. That's nice. I'll do that. Okay. Let's keep going. There's not but ill omens these days. Call me to your side when you wish to depart. How may I help you, friend? Those who live in Ithring make their way from the trees in our vale. This mother of ships helped build a great naval fleet for Gondor many years ago. Recently, our lumber camps have been pillaged and burnt. If we do not make the woods safe again, I fear that the townspeople left will not have money to acquire provisions from passing merchants. There is one lumber camp not too far from here. I was on my way to investigate it before we met. I fear I am too late, but let us hope for survivors. Too far away to accept. Okay. Times indeed. All right, let me go. It's not too far. Guess this is it. I can start killing some orcs here as well. Orc Slayer Deed, I'm assuming. Let me start picking up some of the things here as well. There's a nice little chunk of them here. Let me get all three at once. What? I don't know what's going on. It's been a while since I played, so I gotta... I'm missing my gambits here. Pressing the wrong buttons. It's being generally incompetent. Let me kill more. Let me grab that one. Okay. Now what? Some quest rings up here. Is this a survivor? The man beckons you to come closer and whispers words in your ears. I tried to stop them, <coughs> but there were too many. They came from across the river. <coughs> Leading them was a... His words trail off as he passes. How may I help you, friend? What did the dying man say? So there is an orc camp across the river? This is more serious than I thought. Once, centuries ago, the orcs of the White Mountains were a plague upon the Vale. The people of the Vale were victorious after much bloodshed and drove them back under the mountain. I myself thought the orcs were destroyed until I saw one with my own eyes just two days ago. Gondor needs your aid. I wonder how long these orcs have been waiting in the mountain so that they may once again prey upon the hard-working folk of the Vale. Come, let us return to Ethring. This news of the orc camp is worrying. We must help strengthen Ethring's defenses before the returning of the orcish threat in the woods.
Uh, let me kill a few more orcs here. Need one more. You have defeated many orcs in Ringlow Vale, and the people of Ethring are grateful for your deeds. Okay, so done with that. Let me see. Let me actually look here. There's also the epic. Oh yeah, I forgot that they updated so you can have more quests in your tracker now. Which is great, because it used to be limited to five. So yeah, that's good. Guess let me go collect fish by the river. Four more of these. Uh, let me go get that one over there and then the final one downstream. I guess I'll go through the mill here to the other side. Alright, so done with that one. It looks like as if something has washed up on the riverbank. Okay, so let me go back that way. that body it appears to be the body of a man it looks like the man died very recently but you cannot deduce the cause of death interesting mysterious hopefully nothing's poisoned water supply fish I wonder. A body has washed up on the riverbank? This is disturbing news, as Ethering has not seen an unnatural death in many years. You explain that you are not sure how the man died, or if it was a murder. I see. Perhaps one of the villagers who have been walking about these last few days knows something about this man's death. Corsairs, strange armies, now darkened skies. Unfortunately, I have more pressing matters to attend to than learning about the death of one of my people. These are difficult times. Many of the townsfolks are gathered in our tavern. Perhaps speaking with them will clear up some of this mystery. I wish you luck and dearly hope that this man was not slain by someone in this town. What has become of our lords in the east, I wonder? I am Leyrind, wife of Arvathor. My husband has returned and I am glad that he is safe. I thank you for aiding him. Arvathor should not worry of Ethring. In Borhador's reclusiveness, I have taken it upon myself to organize the village defenses with what little resources we have. I have men upon the beacon of Aelandoth on the lookout for attacking orcs. Our woodworkers have been tasked with making barricades and placing them at the town's four entrances. Alright, let me go in the tavern. This darkness is a weight on my mind. You ask the patron if he knows anything about the body that you recently found. I'm a little confused. You think I know something? Look, I come here every evening to have a pint. That's all I know. You should speak with the barkeep. He's a good man. Keeps me from getting too thirsty. 
He knows the whole lot of the town. Everyone who comes through Ethering stops here. I wish I could help you more. Really. Though a little belligerent, you are fairly certain of the patron's innocence. Well met. Hello there, stranger. What ails you? Perhaps some, some Ethering ale? You asked the barkeep if he knows anything about the body you recently found. Well, this is a sad day. Business has been a little slower recently with most of the town off to war and no merchants have come through in these days. I can't afford to lose any more patrons. You say he washed up on the river? Hmm. You know, I haven't seen many travelers as of late, but there is one here right now. He's an odd fellow. No Gondorian I've ever seen, but he pays well and seems friendly enough. Maybe you should speak with him. He came to town from Limadon and may have seen things on his travel. Best of luck to you, friend. You are certain of the barkeep's innocence. Let's talk with Jajax again. I don't know how to pronounce that. Jajax, 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 I don't know. Ah, if it isn't my friend Kippen. This is an unexpected surprise to see you again after our last adventure together. I needed a bit of a break. Did you as well? Some kind fellow in Kellenbell told me about this sleepy town of Ethring. The cities in Gondor are too big. This is truth. I like the woods and quiet. But enough about me. What have you been up to? Let's drink together to share our adventures. Have some Gondorian ale. Chug it down. Forgetting for a moment about the body, you start telling Jajox the story about your most recent adventure. What is this world coming to? Remembering again your task at hand, you ask Jajax if he knows anything about the body you recently found. This does not sound like something that I'm interested in, friend. Please do not bother me with these things. Talk about something more interesting, such as sailing ships or climbing mountains. Jajox seems to be deflecting your questions, but perhaps he is just tired from his recent battles. Alright, so... I guess that's it in here for now. What has become of our lords in the east, I wonder? Greetings again. What have you on Ethering's mysterious death? I see, no one speaks about it. You say a friend of yours is in the tavern and has not answered your questions. That does seem odd. Might you try reasoning with him to answer you? If he does not, I may need to have him seized until we can solve this death. Labrin wants Jajax to tell you what he knows of the body for Jajax's freedoms may be at stake. Tell me what you need or move along. Ah, friend, you have returned. Have another drink with me. You explain to Jajax that he must tell you if he knows anything of the body by the river, for Leirin will lock him up if he does not speak. An idle threat, but I do not want to cause trouble in this town, for I like this place. In a quieter voice, Jajax asks you to lean in closer so that he may speak with you. I do not want to get involved in this, but I will tell you what I know and no more. After the skies grew dark, I made my way to Ethering. The woods were made of blackness from the starless sky. Only torchlight guided my way. As I approached Ethering, I saw a man in the woods. He was white as a ghost, and not even moving. I do not ask much of you. The man I saw, and the man that you found, may be the same. I urge you to take a closer look at the body, but don't get more involved than I already am, for I am not yet ready to travel further east. All right, so I got to go back to the body. But let me talk to that guy across the bridge first, because he's right there. There's not but ill omens these days. Quickly, orcs have been spotted around Ethering. We must protect the village. To arms. All right, so I got to fight some orcs off. There's not but ill omens these days. White Mountain Orcs patrol the Vale in Ethering, and Ethering is a small village without means to defend against large-scale attacks. The Orcs will flee if their numbers dwindle. Defeating these vile creatures may help secure the safety of the town. So yeah, that's the one, that's the bounty that I can do three times. I might as well accept it because I'm probably going to be killing a bunch of Orcs anyway. So, why not? But for now, let me go back to the body. I'm interested in hopefully closing this loop. Put 
Perhaps a closer examination is in order, as the body does not look quite pale. Does look quite pale. The body was placed here so that the dead could spy on the town. Okay. So I have to speak with Lairin. I gotta kill some orcs again. Let me go back into town. This is the south entrance. Let me fight off some orcs here. I guess I can go around the perimeter and defend each entrance in turn. So west entrance. Where am I off to next? Probably across the bridge, it looks like. But let me talk with this lady first. Corsairs, strange armies, now darkened skies. The dead were spying from the body of that poor Gondorian, and to think he died of fright. Even in death, what possesses some to do what they do? I have no pity for these spirits and shall do what I can to vanquish them from my veil. Why are you bothering me? Ah, yes. I did know about these ghostly men. Not much bothers Jajax, but the dead I find disturbing. That is why I did not want to get involved. I'm glad you sent them away. Now I can stay here longer and have some more of this fine ethering ale. Have another drink with me, my friend. The ale is quite good. Tell me what you need or move I hope that we cross paths again soon. You're going east as well? Until next time, Kippen. May your adventures be profitable, my friend. Okay. So that kind of ties up that end. So that's going to do it for this episode. The introductory episode of this season. I'm pretty excited about it. I hope you are as well. Don't forget, we're now in 4K. So if your internet can handle it, do that. Mine can't. It can, but... I like to watch videos in two times speed, and I cannot stream in 4K two times speed for whatever reason. I don't know why I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for stopping by the Renaissance Gaming Monastery. I hope you join our community on Discord and Twitter. These videos are produced with a lot of hard work and love. If you think they're worth a dollar, I'd be grateful for your contribution. You can send a thanks donation or become a member on YouTube. You can also support through PayPal, Patreon, or even with cryptocurrency. All links are in the description. See you on the next video.